Hello everyone, my name is Nisreen, I'm 13 and I study in the second year of secondary school almanac in Disney City. Well, I would like to thank the members of Global Bass Foundation and I'm just gonna start. Well, today in my speech, I'm gonna talk about different types of addiction. But first, I want to tell you what's an addiction. Addiction is a word that's used to describe a variety of conditions which are all characterized by an abnormally strong need to act in predictable ways to try to satisfy the intense driving forces that are felt by anyone with an addiction. Well, there are lots of types of addiction, such as substance abuse, which can also be called drugs abuse, smartphones addiction and internet addiction. Today, in my speech, I choose to talk about smartphones addiction because this is the most popular addiction I could find in our society. Well, you all have teenagers and children eyes fixed to their smartphones many hours a day, right? So please pay attention. This is what we call addiction. These children and these teenagers are attached to their smartphones and social media such as Facebook, Instagram and other applications. These children and these teenagers are addicts to gaming, gambling, or even texting. They need help, so let's help them, please. Well, smartphone addiction, informally known as nomophobia, which is fear of being with a mobile phone, is fueled by an internet overuse problem or internet addiction disorder. After all, it's rarely the phone or tablet itself that creates a compulsion. It's rather the games or online words that connect us to. And as Einstein says, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. And now I'm gonna move to the bad thing that happens in my life. Books addiction. Do you never heard about this addiction? Well, don't get me wrong. Reading quality books has got of the healthiest addiction that any person can have. Right? And as I say, reading is for the mind, what exercises are for the body. With me, I'm always reading two or three books at the same time, and sometimes I can finish a book of 500 pages in one day or two. And all these ideas are floating around in my head, each day I can progress in my own life. At some point, my mom got worried about my addiction. She thought that I would cut myself from the weird world, but at last, she realized that it was okay, I'm still involved in other activities. And remember, a child who reads will be an adult who thinks. And to conclude, I would like to tell you that each addict has a chance to heal his addiction. There is hope. Thank you.